Hello and welcome. Today we're visiting the Walt Disney Family History Museum in San Francisco. the Presidio, which is a beautiful area overlooking the bay, and there's Alcatraz down there. Disney Family History Museum and experience the history. It, it gave me a different experience going into Main Street and to see all of the history and kind of Disney modeled Disneyland after kind of his childhood and his experiences growing up. Main Street, you know, USA, and the Americana kind of feeling you get. Um, knowing the history behind everything. Come here first before you go to Disneyland if you haven't been to Disneyland before or if you have come experience the life of Walt Disney and his and the family. It's really great especially if you like history and if you are kind of intrigued by that nostalgia. It's nice. It's, it's nice to to know the history behind the Disney experience. Some of my favorite things at the Walt Disney Family History Museum, seeing how I'm in the camera department as a career myself, are all of the old motion picture cameras. 
one of my favorite parts of the museum, along with a huge 3D map of Disneyland that you'll soon see, is the multiplane camera. Being the original Imagineer that Walt was, and seeing his invention that helped create one of the first animated visual effects of depth, and gave the feeling of a multiplane 3D world captured on film, is an inspiring bit of history preserved right here for us all to see. I like thinking about what it would have been like being in the room as those pioneering imaginations went to town creating and building actual dreams to be seen and felt emotionally. I mean, we do that kind of thing today with art, animation, imagineering, but we're really taking many cues from these guys, let's be real. day here at the Presidio and we just have gone through and I'm eating a plum which is just such a beautiful day out here we're gonna have to check something else out maybe see if I can do a little metal detecting for fun I sort of brisked past the last part of the, the museum 
because it's kind of a sad part. I've been here before once and you guys can come see it if you want. I'll just leave that part out because we just want to remember Walt as he was when we saw him on the reels and on his show and celebrate the life. I have a better appreciation more and more for history because of Walt Disney. It's a world of laughter, a world of... Come on, get Ethan. Whatever. Tears. Cheers. Just a couple blocks away was the LucasArts Studio Campus. We thought we would sneak over and take a peek. But I'll let Gavin tell you about it. So we're here at Lucas Studios in San Francisco, Industrial Light and Magic. This is where the magic happens. <laughs> this is where they create Star Wars. And speaking of Star Wars, oh, look at me, I'm Yoda. <laughs> he is the living waters. Living water? Yoda? You see Yoda? And then in Gavin. the lobby here, you're actually gonna see where it says Lucas Films, Lucas Industrial Light and Magic. You're gonna see it in the lobby on the wall. And we're gonna see Darth Vader in there. We're gonna see R2-D2. Gavin is like tricking the guards. That he's like, yeah, yeah I'm off today, but I just wanted to show my family some stuff. Real quick, I'm gonna grab something yeah. in my office. And they're like, oh, go for it, go yeah, ahead. I, I gotta grab my keys up in the office. I left them there. <laughs> yeah, I'll so back. Hey, kind Tom. Of funny. Hey, Tom, how you doing? <laughs> my name's Frank. Yeah, hey, Frank. Tom Frank. So we, we tricked him. Yeah. Now we're just taking a look around. Beep. Where the heck is the, oh, there we go. Oh, hush, hush. Look at the um, the awards up there from Star Wars oh. on the ship. They used to have this open to the public, but not anymore. See on the table? It's like a little... Look in the uh, back, it's like King Kong. Oh, on top of the statue. Yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. What's in here? So that's cool. Didn't know this was here. So I think we're just gonna continue walking around and uh, let's take a peek at the exterior of magic. I just don't know if I'll have time to run up to my office. Uh, I got my keys, but uh, oh, good one, good one, Gab, good one. <laughs> yeah. see if we can find a little treasure here close by. Just for the fun. I've got two assistants helping me recover the treasure. They're gonna see what they can find. Let's see if they find it. One, two, three. <laughs> okay, what was it? It was a... Uh, pull tab. Cap. They yeah. call that a pull tab. Cover up the hole. And we got a quarter. Look at that, a quarter dollar. What year is it? 2020. It's 2020. Yeah. Okay, nice. Let's see what else we can get. It's rubber, huh? Nope. So we found a, an 18, which I thought was just gonna be trash, but turns out it's kind of a treasure. Okay, what is it? It says Cable Car Museum. It's one of the smash pennies. Here, hold it. Put your hand out so I can turn it up right, so I can read it. All right, Cable Car Museum. And it says, I wonder if it says something up top. Does it? No, it's just kind of a decorative thing. So. Cool. Yeah. Woo -hoo. Woo -hoo. This is a pretty clean beach. We're not finding much. Hey, that's a good thing. That's a good thing. But we're looking for something, right? Where is it? Move it around until it goes faster. Right here with your uncle. Oh, oh yeah, look at that. A nickel. What year? Uh, it's on the other side, it's below his face. 1994. 1994. 1994 nickel. I was 10. Yeah, baby. Ethan found this with his dual optic uh, receivers. A drool. That's his eyes. Yeah. Rocket crash. Okay, next up, Hot Wheels. 
found us a Hot Wheels car. Nice. Found a few fun things, but I think the group kind of wants to go, so we're gonna head out. It's getting a little dark anyway. We found a couple cool treasures, and here's what we found. Kenzie found this with her two optical uh, surveyors, her eyes, and we found an S hook, and we found San Francisco, and we found a quarter that's like a 2021. Let me turn that. It's so cool. It's so shiny. 2020. That's uh, 2020, and it's from Lake Stewardship. So we planted a tree, and we found a smashed penny. That was awesome. That's treasure. And look, do you want that? You pulled sure. it out of the ground so yeah. you get that. And then uh, a nickel. And you found this. So I think maybe, you know, jewel of some sort. Some pull tabs, junk. This did have metal in it, maybe. No, plastic. <laughs> and uh, that's the treasures. Cool. Ah. Yeah. What do you guys say to Paul? Was that fun? Thank you. Thanks, Paul. We love you. Yeah. Paul is our national treasure. <laughs> it's a beautiful nice. golden game. An hour later, we're in the back of my cousin's house and we're looking in his backyard. He's gonna get new grass back here, new fake grass. So we thought, we gotta dig it and look for treasure. We found this metal thing. I don't know what it is, but it has a gold color to it. I broke it right in half trying to clean it. Maybe it's an old Civil War miniature canteen. Yeah, crikey. And oh, we right. And we found that old shovel. We dug with a shovel to found a shovel. Yeah. Is there blood on it? Now, you're detecting this. Here. So oh, take yeah. this out. And you, so you're, okay, you found more to that same treasure we found. Let's see what we can find. Wow. All right, we found another thing and it has an ampersand on it. Flip it over. Hmm, don't know what that could be. All right, another target we found. This to me looks like a 40 Smith & Wesson or a uh, 45 caliber bullet. Right there on the grass. And look at this guy crazy. <laughs> he loves it. It was fun. See ya later. Bye, kids. While in Oakland, we decided to visit the beautifully lit temple for the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints and give a donation to people in need all over the world by using a very easy-to-use giving machine. shirt weather November 27th that's amazing it's just utterly fantastic God bless us God bless us everyone, everyone. giving machines here at the temple grounds where you can buy something for some something of necessity and it just you buy it and it drops down there and, and the church fulfills it and it's kind of a, an easy way to give to those in need what kind of things would okay. you like to do, you do it you, she wanted to do 75 meals that's three hundred dollars that's <laughs> maybe the only one we do
The giving machines offer the public a fun and memorable way to give and serve one another, but with a twist. Usually when someone puts money into a vending machine, they receive something tangible in return. But a giving machine rewards the purchaser with something far more. Giving machines provide a way for people to instantly think of others and generously give of themselves. In total, we did something like one pig, three chickens, 10 polio vaccines, a toilet for a family, a bunch of other things. It was really cool and easy to just punch the buttons and put in your card and, and light the world. Thanks for watching. Yeah. Be excellent to each other. Ta-ta for now.